This little blue pill, it's Viagra and it's being used for dogs. Here's what it's being used for and how it could help your dog. Hello, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. Click there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book. So I was a dog breeder, tool as a male dog. I'm like, and things aren't happening the way they should be. I've got this dog in heat, and I'm like, come on. You know, is that what I'm talking about? Little Tula, she's been spayed, no more puppies for her. We probably don't need to be thinking about something like Viagra, right? drug sildenafil sold under the brand name Viagra it was originally developed to help people with hair loss the surprising side effect was increasing blood flow in different areas uh, but alas that's not what we're talking about here there's a condition that your dog can get it's called mega esophagus what is it you may be wondering first what you need to do is understand the difference between vomiting and regurgitation most of us would come in and just say my dog just threw up what does that mean? Vomiting, it's active. It's like, and up something comes, right? All this food is being expelled from the stomach. Say if Tula had just vomited, I'd expect to see what's digested dog food. Regurgitation, on the other hand, that's a passive motion. There's not all this stomach contraction. Your dog's eating, and then all of a sudden, just passively, up comes up typically you know this undigested dog food undigested kibble you might see something like this see almost this sort of band of undigested or partially digested kibble so you've got a dog that you think is chronically vomiting your veterinarian should first be determining the difference is it vomiting or is it regurgitation and then if it's deemed that it is this chronic ongoing regurgitation then they're going to be looking at something more serious such as the condition we just talked about mega esophagus in mega esophagus just means big or enlarged esophagus and that's the tube which carries the food from the mouth down into the stomach and that's kind of what you're going to see in an x-ray typically it's much easier to see with barium you're seeing this big dilated esophagus i've done a previous video on this i'm going to link to that video but your veterinarian then is then going to determine if there is a diagnosable underlying cause there's a condition called myasthenia gravis where the immune system is attacking these nerve muscle receptors within the esophagus. About 25% of dogs have that. That is partially treatable with a drug that increases a neurotransmitter acetylcholine uh, along with steroids to suppress the hyperactive immune response. There's another veterinary condition called Addison's disease, where there's not enough of these adrenal cortical hormones being produced. Your veterinarian is likely gonna rule that out as well. Unfortunately, for most dogs that get this condition, we don't actually diagnose the obvious, the underlying cause, right? We just know you've got this flaccid esophagus, get as thin and dilated, it's not contracting properly. Uh, the sphincter at the end of the esophagus doesn't open up well, and the food isn't able to make its way in from the esophagus into the stomach. Some of the treatments, I mean, using gravity, dogs are then fed upright. There's this type of chair called the Bailey chair. Dogs eating this, they eat up, food goes down this way. Then lots of dogs would benefit from something like this, Pepsid or Fomotidine, the antacid. It really is a hard disease to treat. I did diagnose some dogs with this in veterinary practice. And unfortunately, you know, many of those dogs were euthanized. So how does this little blue pill then fit into this? There's been a few different studies recently showing some really, really, really huge big benefits of using this sylfentanil, the Viagra, for a dog that's got megasophagus. So what they're finding is the sylfentanil, the Viagra, it's acting as a smooth muscle relaxant. And what it's doing, it's relaxing the sphincter at the end of the esophagus. When that sphincter relaxes, stays open to somewhere between 20 minutes to an hour, that's enough time for then the food to pass from the esophagus into the stomach and then it closes. And really, like that's what you need to be happening and going on. One study is a relatively small number of dogs and dog owners, but what they found is something like 90% of the dog owners participating in that study noticed a, a significant improvement when their dogs were on the sofentanil, the Viagra. It's being given as a liquid, so then it's easy to give to your dog. You give it prior to feeding, so then that sphincter at the end of the esophagus can open up. You give your dog the food. Guess what? The food's going in normally, which is huge. So maybe it didn't work for hair loss seem to be pretty popular for these middle-aged men 
And who else? Dogs that have megasophagus. If you've got a dog that's chronically vomiting, maybe it's regurgitating, first get a proper workup. If your dog's ever diagnosed with megasophagus, make sure you discuss Viagra with your vet. Thanks so much for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets on Viagra for Dogs. Click up there to subscribe, hit the bell to sign up for notifications, and then when you click the link directly in the box below, I can send you a copy of my free book.